What is going on today, guys? My name's Alex. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are back with the age-old question. Do you buy a gas pickup truck or should you buy the diesel pickup truck? That is what we're talking about today. Today, we are lucky enough to have a Ram 2500 with the 6.4 Hemi, which is actually my own truck, 2022 Ram 2500 Power Wagon. And on my left here, we have a 2023 Ram 2500 with the infamous 6.7 Cummins turbo diesel engine. And I figured I'd give you guys my opinions about if a gas or diesel engine is your best option. So now that the price of diesel has kind of fallen back to earth here for the last couple of months, I figured this would probably intrigue more people to look at potentially having the diesel option if they're looking at buying a new pickup truck or a used pickup truck because they are no longer gonna be having to pay an arm and a leg to fill up their diesel pickup truck and hopefully it stays that way. So I am a diesel mechanic by trade and I thought I would share my opinions on the modern diesel engine. And I use the term modern diesel engine because gone are the days of the old school bulletproof reliable diesel engines. They don't exist anymore. Um, as of let's say 2012, when um, the government mandated SCR systems on these things, the emission systems are making these modern diesel engines somewhat unreliable and I think there is a discussion to be had if you guys are looking at buying one because it is important. So let's start with the very obvious. So with a diesel engine you're going to be paying anywhere from ten dollars to $14,000 extra than what you would with a normal base gas model engine and with that added cost comes a better performing engine. The diesel engine, this goes for any manufacturer, Chevy, Ford, Ram, um, you are going to get a better performing engine and with that performance comes better towing experience. And what I think gets kind of caught up in the numbers is how well a diesel engine tows. Because we've seen in the past couple of years that an HD gas engine can tow quite a bit. So this is a 6.4 Hemi like I mentioned and a properly equipped 6.4 Hemi truck can tow north of 17,000 pounds on paper. Now. Obviously this truck can also tow 17,000 pounds. In fact, a Cummins can tow about 20,000 pounds in a Ram 2500. But I think what gets lost is the fact that yes, both trucks can tow 17,000 pounds, but this Cummins will tow it significantly easier. And you know, that goes down to even like 12,000 pounds. If you are towing, you know, 12,000, 13,000 pounds pretty consistently, a Cummins, a diesel engine will make your life significantly easier when it comes to towing because these engines just tow so much better than a gas engine. And it's not to say a gas engine can't do it, but a diesel engine is a far superior towing engine in every category without a doubt. Now maybe just let me back up a little bit because there's nothing wrong with an HD gas engine. They are not poor towing engines. They just don't tow as well as the diesel. And I'm sure most of you guys already know that. There's nothing wrong with an engine like the 6.4 Hemi. It will tow things just fine, but if you're looking for the best performance, you cannot beat the diesel option in terms of towing performance. Now, personally, if I was towing, you know, 12,000, 13, 14,000 pounds pretty consistently, I would probably want to pay that extra premium and get the diesel. I think it's worth it at that point. However, if you're someone that, let's say, owns, I don't know, a 15,000 pound, pretty large fifth wheel camper and you tow it five times a year, six times a year, there is absolutely nothing wrong with going with the gas engine. It will tow that thing just fine. It just won't tow it as well as the diesel. You're not gonna get as good fuel mileage. You're gonna be revving a lot more. The truck is gonna struggle a lot more, but it will do it. When it comes to price versus performance, you are paying for extra towing performance and you will get it with the diesel. The golden question is, is that extra price worth it to you guys to have that extra towing? And I think it all depends on what you're planning on using the truck for. Another thing to consider is fuel economy between these two types of engines. I know they're HD trucks, fuel economy really shouldn't come into play, but I think in the real world, people still are a little bit, you know, interested in fuel economy numbers, even in HD trucks. So, 
With a diesel, it'll be by far more efficient. Diesel engines, they just have higher thermal efficiency, basically meaning that they can take more of the chemical energy in the fuel and transfer it to mechanical energy much better than a gas engine. Also, diesel as a fuel actually has more energy in it than gasoline does. So because of those two reasons and a number of other ones, your diesel engine is gonna be quite a bit more efficient and it's gonna be way more efficient when you're towing. That's a big one because if you plan on towing a lot with your gas engine, you are not gonna be passing very many fuel stations. HD gas engines love to drink fuel when they're towing, probably looking at anywhere like 30 liters per 100K with a decent load behind it, which is quite a lot of fuel. Now, thirdly, and I think this is a really, really big one, is reliability. Like I touched on earlier in the video, gone are the days of the super reliable diesel engines that can run half a million miles with relatively no issues. They don't exist anymore. And in fact, your gas engines are probably a much more reliable option than a modern diesel engine. Now, myself as a technician, um, I work on a ton of diesel engines every day and without a doubt, probably 50% of all of our work is just after treatment issues. Um, you know, it's these after treatment systems are highly complex, highly sensitive, and yet they are exposed to incredible heat, high pressures, and that just fuels um, things to go wrong. And when they go wrong, it's usually expensive. And oftentimes it's very hard to diagnose because there are a lot of calculated values in these emission systems. So for example, if there's a calculated value that does not correlate with what the, uh, the ECU is expecting to see, it'll throw a check engine light, it'll throw a code, and we have to go in there with computers and figure out what exactly is going on, why the engine threw that code, what sensors could be bad, is there any bad wiring, has a system failed, and it's just, you can run yourself into a lot of issues with these modern diesel engines. So it does seem like the gas engine is going to be the more reliable option. And it, it does seem kind of odd to say that. I don't think in terms of longevity, I still feel like the diesel is going to outlast a gas engine in general. But in terms of like pure reliability, going down the road, having faith that your engine is not going to derate you, I feel like the reliability is much more with the gas engine these days. And the diesel option can derate. So what do I mean by derate? So with the emission systems, if there is a check engine light thrown for an emission code or even an, an actual engine code, there can be a 10% derate, a 25% derate, a 50% derate, as well as even speed derates that will derate the truck to only like 10 kilometers an hour. And there's no other way to get around it other than plugging into it with the computer and either clearing the codes or figuring out what is going on. And so that is kind of the dilemma when it comes to diesel engines because these D-rate codes can happen at any time, anywhere, any place. And we get a lot of trucks just towed in because there's check engine lights and they can't go faster than 10 kilometers an hour. So uh, these are all just things that you guys may want to consider when you are looking at either buying a diesel or a gasoline engine. And it's not to say that your diesel is going to derate every day, um, but it is more than likely throughout the life of owning a modern diesel engine, you will have to deal with some kind of emission related issue. Another big factor to think about is your driving habits. So if you are driving five miles to work and back, 10 miles to work and back, a modern diesel engine is probably not what you are looking for. Reason being is because these diesel engines, they like to get hot and run hard. Their emission systems love to get hot and they love to be run hard. And if they don't, you are simply gonna shorten the life of both the engine and the emission systems. And you are most likely gonna have to deal with a lot of, again, emission related issues. Whereas the gas engine, you are not. There are zero emissions to really worry about. And if you're just driving short distances, I would highly recommend that you guys look at getting a gas engine because you will just not have to deal with as many issues with this gas engine. Another factor to consider kind of goes with driving habits is idle time. If you know you're gonna be idling quite a bit, I would recommend you stay away from the diesel because a diesel engine does not like to idle. It causes quite a bit of problems with the engine itself. Um, you'll get turbo slobber and then the emissions, they 
Uh, when you idle, you create a lot of soot, and so you'll end up clogging your DPF filters much quicker, and your EGR will just get all full of soot, possibly clog your EGR cooler, EGR valve can get sooted up. There's just a lot of issues when it comes to idling with these diesel engines. So if you know you're gonna be idling a lot, a gas engine is probably the best option. And you shouldn't really idle your gas engine either. It will probably shorten the life of it, but it's not going to be as detrimental as idling a modern diesel engine. So just another thing to consider. Now finally is your payload capacity. And gas engines in the HD trucks always are gonna have a higher payload capacity. Why? Because, well, their engines weigh less. So the Cummins engine in this truck alone weighs about 1,100 pounds. So that is gonna affect your total payload that you can actually put inside the truck or in the bed. Whereas the gas engine has a much lighter engine in the front, so it's gonna increase the available payload. So if you're looking at putting a truck bed camper, some toolboxes in the back, or even like a service body, going with an HD gas engine may give you that added payload in order to fit all that stuff in there. So that's something to consider as well if you guys are looking for uh, payload options. At the end of the day, I think the biggest factor is what you are gonna be using the truck for. Previously, and I guess still probably today, I think the diesel engine option is the sexier option. It's always viewed as the more powerful and the upper class engine, if you will. And there may be something to that, but I think nowadays more so, I think these are just two very quality engine options for different applications. And it just really depends on what you guys are planning to use the trucks for. If you're planning on towing a ton and heavy, clearly the diesel is probably your best option. Whereas if you are looking to tow every now and again, a big camper, um, you want some good payload, but yet you don't wanna to have to really worry about emission systems, the gas engine is going to be by far the best engine option for you. So I think it comes down to um, what you need. And if you guys are looking at a diesel option, I would highly recommend you guys do a little bit of research in terms of the emission systems, understand what a regen is, a passive regen versus a forced regen, because these are things that are gonna help preserve the life of your engine, as well as the after treatment system. Well, those are the criteria that I personally would kind of um, look at if I was gonna be either buying a diesel or a gas. Obviously, I own a gas engine, and it's not necessarily because I thought it was a better engine for me, even though it probably is. It's because, well, I wanted a power wagon and it only comes with the 6.4 Hemi, so that's what I ended up getting. Um, but like I said, it's probably honestly the, the better engine choice for me and for what I do. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. Um, I'll answer them as best as I can. If you did like the video, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. And if you like cool stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe because we'd love to have you on board. Anyways, enough of me. I'm going home and uh, we'll see you in the next freaking video.